let us understand the concepts of slope or gradient of a line. Consider these two lines. This is the first one and suppose this is the second one. Now each of these lines have different slope. Now let us note down the coordinates of these two lines. So for the first line, let's say it is on the x-axis it has a coordinate of 28 and on the y-axis it is at Seventeen. So this point here has the coordinates twenty eight, comma the y coordinate which is seventeen. So this represents x coordinate and this represents the y coordinate. Similarly, for this point, the coordinates are on the x-axis, it is 12, and on the y-axis, it is 3. So let us note down the coordinates of this point here. So first we note down the x-axis coordinates, which is 12 then the y-axis coordinates which is 3 so this is say x1 and this is y1 now if you have to calculate the slope of this line the slope can be calculated as difference in y coordinates divided by the difference in x coordinates. So this is equal to 17 minus 3 divided by 28 minus 12. This is equal to 14 divided by 16 or in other terms 7 divided by 8. Now we could also have done 3 minus 17 divided by 12 minus 28. So whichever way we do we need to follow the same sequence while doing the subtraction. So suppose we would have done 3 minus 17 divided by 12 minus 28 this would have been equal to minus 14 divided by minus 16 negative negative gets cancelled so this becomes 7 and this becomes 8 so again we get the answer as 7 by 8 now let's note down some observations for calculating the slope of this line so this line is moving from left to the right in an upward direction so when it is moving from left to right in an upward direction, what is happening to the x-coordinate? So the x-coordinate is increasing because it is moving towards the right direction. Similarly, since it is moving upwards, the y-axis is also increasing. So basically, at this point, both the x and the y-coordinates are larger than the x and y coordinates for this point. So if we calculate the slope, it should always be a positive number. Now let us look at a different line. So for this line, let's note down the coordinates. So this is at 0, comma, 12. So this is 0 because this is in the axis here 
and x coordinate is 0 and the y coordinate is 12 and at this point the x axis is 8 and the y axis is 0. Now let us calculate the slope for this line. So again the formula remains the same difference in y divided by the difference in x. So this is equal to so let's take the direction from left to right so y is 12 minus 0 divided by again from left to right so 0 minus 8 this is equal to 12 divided by minus 8 so this becomes 3 divided by 2 so this is equal to minus 3 by 2 now if we try to calculate the slope in the other direction that is we move from right to left so the y axis becomes 0 minus 12 and the x axis becomes 8 minus 0 so this becomes minus 12 by 8 or 3 by 2 so this is again minus 3 by 2 so again it doesn't make a difference whether we are moving from left to right or right to left as long as we are moving in the same direction for both x and y so now let us note down some observations for this line so this line is again moving from left to right but in a downward direction so what is happening to the x coordinate is that the x coordinate is increasing here and the y coordinate is decreasing so if we do a y divided by x one is increasing and one is decreasing in other terms one is going to be negative and the other one is going to be positive so for such type of a line the slope would be negative now let us look at the slope of a line in slightly different terms so typically the equation of a straight line would be represented as y is equal to m x plus c now if we represent equation of a straight line as y equal to mx plus c then m is the slope of the line and c is the y intercept or in other terms the coordinate on the y axis where the line is going to intercept with the y axis so for example if we have an equation like p is equal to 25x plus 20y so first we have to convert this equation in terms of the standard equation which is y equal to mx plus c so we have to bring x to one side and y on the other side so this becomes 20y is equal to p minus 25x now we'll divide all these numbers by 20 so we get y is equal to p divided by 20 minus 25 by 20 times x so this gives us y is equal to p by 20 minus if we divide each number by 5 we get 5 by 4 times x or in other terms it is y is equal to minus 5 by 4 times x plus p by 20 so in this case the slope is minus 5 by 4 
So what this means is that this line would look something like this. This is our x-axis, this is our y-axis, and this is the line because the slope is expressed as a negative number. Now what does 5 by 4 signify? So 5 by 4 signifies that for every 4 moves or 4 steps or 4 units that x moves, the y coordinate moves by 5 steps or 5 units. Or in other terms, if this is 4, this has to be 5. Let us validate our observation with an example of this line here. So the slope of this line is minus 3 by 2. What that means is that for every 2 steps or 2 units that x moves, y moves by 3 units. So let's say this is 3 by 2. Now suppose x moves 2 more units y would move 3 more units. So if we add 3 plus 3 and 2 plus 2, we'll get 6 for y and 4 for x. Again if we add 2 and 3, we get 9 for y and 6 for x. Again if we add 2 and 3, we get 12 for y and 8 for x. Now if we look at this line here, y coordinate of this line is 12 and the x coordinate is 8. So for 8 moves that this line has moved on the x axis, it has moved 12 units on the y axis. So if you remember some of these concepts, they will become very handy when we try to solve the linear programming problems using graphical method.